Hi, I'm AJ. Thanks for taking the time to check out my channel. Uh, if you're not a current subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Hit that like button because you're gonna like this video and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. So today I'm gonna talk about two of the main methods or the most popular methods to pay off debt. And that's the debt snowball and the debt avalanche. Now the debt snowball, which was also made popular by Dave Ramsey, is probably one, the most popular way to pay off debt. And the difference between the debt snowball and a debt avalanche is that with a debt snowball, what you do is you take all of the debts that you have, you know, your student loans, credit cards, any other revolving debt like a car or maybe even your mortgage. And after you put them all in order based on the smallest debt up to the largest debt, you start to pay off your debts from the smallest debt to the largest debt. So you make the minimum payments on all of your other loans and all of your credit cards, but whatever the smallest debt is, you pay as much as you can on that debt. So if after the minimum payment, let's say you have $200 extra that you can use to put towards that payment, you put the whole $200 towards that smallest debt. And as soon as you pay off that smallest debt, you didn't go on to the second smallest debt. So including the minimum payment that you were already making on the second smallest debt, you're gonna also add the minimum payment from the original first debt and the extra $200 that you had to pay on that first debt. So now you have the two minimum payments for both of the, the debts and you also have the extra $200. And so what this does is, as the, the phrase says, that snowball, it creates a snowball. So as you pay off one debt, it gets the amount of payment that you can make for the second debt increases. And as you go along and you're paying off the small debts, once you get to your highest debt at the end, you have a large amount of money that you're putting all towards that final debt. Okay, so the next most popular way to pay off your debts is called the debt avalanche. Now with the debt avalanche, it's almost the opposite of the debt snowball. So what you do is you take all of your debts based on the interest rate that you're paying on the debt. So whatever is the highest interest rate, that's the loan that you start paying off first. So you order it from the largest interest rate down to the lowest interest rate, and you put any extra funds that you have, you only pay the minimums for all of the other debts, and any extra funds you have, you put that towards the debt with the highest interest rate. So using the same example from the debt snowball, you're using all of the minimum payments and then you have an extra $200 to, to put towards that largest interest rate debt. And as far as the amount of debt, it doesn't matter what order you go in. The main focus is the interest rate. Now, after you've made the minimum payments to all of your debts and you're putting that extra $200 plus the minimum payment towards the highest interest rate debt, now you're going to have that extra $200 plus the minimum and now you go down to the next highest interest rate. And so in that same fashion as the debt snowball, as you move along to the other debts, uh, you'll have more money to put towards the lower interest rate debt. Now there's argument about which method is the best. Is the debt snowball the best way to do it? Or is the debt avalanche the best way to pay off your debts? This will depend all on your behavior and your willingness to, I guess, wait. With the debt snowball method, you get that short feedback. So, you know, if you have a debt that's only maybe a couple of hundred dollars and you're able to pay that off faster than you would a debt that maybe $10,000 or maybe $40,000. So by focusing on that smaller debt, you get faster feedback to show some type of progress that you're paying off your debt. So you pay off the small amount of debt. Now the second smallest goes along and you build up that momentum of those quick wins where you're getting rid, rid of one or two debts really quickly if there are smaller amounts. Now the debt avalanche, the benefit of doing it that way is that you're gonna save the most money in the long run. And you're gonna pay off your debts faster because you're attacking the debt that has the most interest. Now with your interest rate, that's what's adding more money on top of your loan or your credit card debt. When you're only making that minimum payment, that means the credit card or the loan company is getting the maximum amount of interest that they can out of you based on the interest rate of that debt. So by attacking the debt that has the highest interest rate, 
you're attacking the debt that's going to cause you to pay the most money in the long run. And so it really depends on it's more psychology than it is about math for some people. So psychologically, it may be best for some people to go with this debt snowball method because you're getting those quick wins. You can pay off something small uh, quicker than you can you know, the larger debts. And that builds up the momentum and the motivation for you to continue to pay off your debt. Now, if you're more of an analytical person and for you, what you want to do is make sure you pay the least amount of money in the long run, then the debt avalanche is the best option for you. That's going to allow you to pay your debts off faster and it's going to allow you to pay the least amount of interest over the period of time that you're paying off all of these debts. So now that I've talked about these two methods to pay your debts, uh, I'd like to see what you guys think in the comments. I'm going to put a poll up as well. Uh, let me know if you prefer the debt snowball method or if you prefer the debt avalanche method. And after you take that poll, the little survey, uh, also let us know in the comments why you chose the method that you chose. Like, was it because you like those quick wins or maybe you only heard of one of these methods and so that's the method that you went with or are you more of an analytical person and you want to pay the least amount of interest over the time that you owe these debts all right thanks for your time thanks for watching this video i really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this uh, if you're not a subscriber go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button because you did like this video and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time i create a video if you're already a subscriber, I really appreciate you being a subscriber and thanks everyone for watching. You have a great day.